good day and welcome to this week's weekly update with Freedom of Religion South Africa, commonly known as 4SA. I am Daniela Ellebeck, uh, legal advisor to 4SA, and joining me on the call this week is my colleague, Liesl Pretorius, who is also an attorney and works with me as another legal advisor at 4SA. This week, we are going to be discussing the Sierra Rights Commission Religious Freedom Survey. Now, the purpose of this survey is to give you, as a South African, an opportunity to let the government know how you experience living out your religion and your religious freedom in your everyday life. Now, the survey closes for public comment on the last Friday of the month of September 2023. So Friday, the 29th of September at 12 o'clock noon is the closing deadline. And you have until then to make your comments heard. Now, Liesl, for those who might not know, what exactly is the CRL Rights Commission? The CRL Rights Commission is an institution that is created by the Constitution of South Africa itself. And the Commission's main task, which is a very important one also, is to promote and protect the rights of religious as well as cultural and linguistic communities. And, and that's the CRL in the name CRL Rights Commission. It's, it's cultural communities, religious communities, and linguistic communities. Um, so a commission with a very important task um, and conducting a very important survey. But Danella, tell us more about this religious freedom survey. How did it come about and, and what exactly is it about? So Lisa, as you pointed out, the Zero Rights Commission is actually a state institution that's established by the constitution. So we've got this constitutional entity that is now conducting a survey. And what the Zero Rights Commission wants to determine is how faith communities in South Africa experience religious freedom in their daily life. And if religious freedom, therefore, is sufficiently protected. Now, this is why the commission is inviting religious communities to have their say. Importantly, the survey seeks to identify critical areas where religious freedom, so that is your constitutional right to believe what you want to believe in your heart, and then to freely live out that belief in public by telling others about it and living your life in accordance with that belief, through manifestation, worship, practice, teaching, and so forth. So basically what the survey seeks to identify is critical areas where religious freedom is or has been in danger of erosion. And ultimately, the survey, because it's being conducted by a constitutional institution, will carry significant legal weight and have the potential to influence law and policy decisions that promote and protect rather than erode everyone's right to religious freedom in South Africa. So it's aimed basically at gauging the health of religious freedom in our country. And it's a rare opportunity to bring the threats and problems that the religious community faces to government's attention. And for this reason, 4SA wholeheartedly supports the purpose of the survey and encourages all members of the faith community to participate in it. Now, Lisa, we've now mentioned what the purpose of the survey is to measure or gauge the health of religious freedom, people's ability to freely live out their belief and not to be forced to do anything contrary to it in the public realm. What kind of questions does the survey ask to, to measure this? To start with, I'd just like to say that the survey only consists of eight questions, so it shouldn't take that long to complete. Um, but some of the questions obviously relate to the things that you've just spoken about. So some of the questions relate to whether existing or upcoming laws and policies either recognize religious freedom or erode religious freedom. Also, whether religious freedom is sufficiently recognized as an equality right. Section 9 of the Constitution, which concerns the right to equality, says that religious freedom or religion is a ground against on which you know you cannot be unfairly discriminated against so it's an equality right it also addresses whether parents feel that they are able to raise their children in accordance with their own beliefs and values um, this is a right recognized by international law and, and also in south africa's education sector law um, then there are other questions as well um, more personal questions how do you as a person of faith experience your religious freedom in your daily life or do you feel that you're able to live out your faith freely and without fear do you feel that you've ever been discriminated against because of your faith? And also, um, the, there are also questions about seeing that one has the right to religious freedom, but how do you see enjoying your right to religious freedom in a responsible way? Now, Daniela, some of these questions are a bit, you know, relating to law and policy. So can 4SA provide listeners with some guidance on completing uh, questions relating to law and policies for for a uh, you know, listeners or viewers who are perhaps not as familiar with the South African legal system. 
Great. Now, at the start of this, I do want to say that the survey is a practical survey. So it's about your experiences in your daily life. Um, so if you know that you should be free to live your life in accordance with your faith and tell others about it, have you ever felt like, you need to keep quiet about your faith in public, whether that is at school or at the office or shopping or running your business. Um, have you ever felt that you would be negatively impacted if you talk to others about your faith or say you can't do something because of your faith? Or your practical experience as a parent, I mean, Liesl, you would know, you're a parent. Um, do you ever feel as a parent that the school that your child is in limits your right to raise your children or affects your right to raise your children in line with your beliefs and values. So first of all, these are very real practical questions that apply to um, everyone. And from their daily experiences, I'm sure people have more than enough examples where they have felt that if they, um, whether or not they're allowed to run their business in line with their beliefs or not, or whether they have felt that they can't actually run their business in line with their beliefs because they're going to face you know, they're going to be cancelled or you can't write what you want about what you believe on Facebook because you're going to face a backlash. And if you say something, uh, you will be discriminated against because of your religion, your belief or your conscience by your employer. But since 4SA is a legal advocacy organization, and as we said at the start of this, uh, we are both legal advisors, non-practicing attorneys. Um, obviously, 4SA works in the realm of policy and laws. We are aware of what the laws are at the moment. And we have provided draft responses with example answers just to get people thinking. Um, because again, this is about your daily life. But if we can get um, you thinking of, okay, well, yes, like actually when I dropped my child off at school, this is something that happened, you know, a year ago, or two weeks ago, or this is a project my child had to work on and I had real issues with it. And, or this is something that happened at the office coffee machine and so forth. And now for SA, we list all relevant laws and policies and other legal instruments um, that in our view impact religious freedom, which again is your right to live out your faith freely in public, not to be forced to do anything against it and tell others about it. And yes, our draft responses do highlight apparent gaps. Um, however, there are also questions, like we said, of a more personal nature, seeking to highlight your practical experience as an individual in daily life. So, Liesl, where can listeners find the survey? Voice A is making it easy for for. Um members of the South African public to complete this survey um, to do so. The only thing you need to do is go to the 4SA website. Our address is forsa.org.za, so 4SA.org.za. And then at the top of the page, you'll see a big image that says CRL Religious Freedom Survey. And the banner image at the top of the page, you click Click on that, it'll take you through to a landing page. On that landing page, you have all the necessary information that you need to access and complete the survey. You'll also find our draft responses that you can read and consider, especially with, uh, you know, with regard to the law and policy related questions. And yeah, I would just like to repeat that this is a unique, the survey is a unique and important opportunity um, to identify areas where religious freedom um, and also the freedom of conscience and belief um, must be protected more robustly where there are areas of concern. And as we've mentioned, it will inform and advise government on how to draft laws and policies and also implement these laws and policies in a way that ensure that religious freedom is uh, properly protected in South Africa. Um, and it might even inform other constitutional institutions um, such as the Human Rights Commission on how to approach uh, these issues. It's so a definitely important survey. Make sure that you complete the survey. The deadline is 12 o'clock on Friday, 29 September. And for more information, um, you're welcome to visit our website. You can also sign up for our newsletter on the website. We have a Freedom of Religion um, essay Facebook page that you can follow and also a YouTube channel where you can get more information about issues that affect your faith and freedom in South Africa. Good day. This is Daniela Ellebeck the Legal Advisor to Freedom of Religion South Africa. Remember to like and share this video and then click on the subscribe button to make sure you never miss our video updates on vital religious freedom issues.